So a lot of people have been asking me for a tier list. I get asked for a tier list every single patch. Um, I'm happy to oblige, but this really does require a lot of research. I have to put a lot of time into it, um, so I can't provide one every time. If you do appreciate this content, please leave a thankful comment in the comment description, uh, and we'll get on with the video. Please find before you the completed tier list for the upcoming patch. We don't know the name of the patch, but it's the Nemesis 1 DLC, which adds 101st Airborne and 56Y. There's a lot of balance changes. I, Heinrich Hippler, am the best Warno player in the world at 1v1. Uh, 10v10 players are, of course, much better than me. And this is a 1v1 predictive tier list. Predictive tier list. It's important to, to stress that it's a predictive tier list. So, you know, things can change as more tournament games are played, as people discover new metas and things like that. But I've been playing a lot of uh, 1v1s in the early access build. And um, and this is what, what I've come up with. So, obviously, the best way to... Um, to get views and stuff is to go through the divisions one at a time and slowly add them to the tier list. I don't believe in wasting your time. So these are the final results. So in S tier, you've got 101st Airborne, one of the new DLC divisions. A tier, you've got 35Y, 56Y, which is one of the new DLC divisions, and 24th US. In the B tier, you've got 8 US, 39Y, 27Y, 6Y, 4 DDR, and 11 Easy. C tier, 2nd Panzer, TKS, 11 US, 82nd Airborne, 2nd UK Infantry Division, 1st UK Armoured Division, 119Y, KDA, Berlin Gropers, 79Y, 3 US. In the D tier, you've got 5 Easy Peasy, 7th Panzer Division and 5th Panzer, and in E tier, you've got Berlin Command and Hippie. So, you know, it's taken me a long time to come up with this. Um, and if you, you know, you can just go into ranks now and just pick the top division and, and just win every game. Uh, but if you're interested in the methodology and how I've drawn these decisions, right, what are these decisions based off, then uh, bear with me here while I explain it to you. So, you know, you want to build a division, you're looking at divisions, you want to build a division. I've played every div in the game loads of times, so you can trust me when it comes to this predictive tier list. <coughs> Uh, like I said, the meta does develop, but I mean, this is pretty accurate for 1v1. And um, yeah, so basically what we're going to do here, so we start with the uh, 3rd Armoured Division. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's 20 for 3rd Armoured Division. 8th Infantry Division, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So that's 29, so it's actually a lot better than 3rd Armoured Division. Then you've got 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that's that's even better than 8th. Then you've got 82nd Airborne. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 80 seconds really bad. Like 80 second is totally not good. I'm just looking at my notes here. Um, 80 second is only, you know, 22. That, so that's even worse than... Um, I mean, it's better than 3rd Armoured, but it's a lot worse than these infantry divisions. Then you've got the new division, 101st Airborne. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 39... <coughs> 